Hello everybody, this is Max Farrow and this is the 5 Minute MDM Learning the Trade System. And in this one we're going to be talking about terms, jargon and names. Uh, just so you have a better understanding of what everything is. All right, so in this network of trading the five minute, there's two major ways to trade it. We're going to be using a market price, using the signal direction and the market price at the money. Okay, and we're going to be using a signal strike. Okay, there's also another way to using it as a signal straight. And we're going to trade it at the alert signal indicative price. If there is a price available, then get in. If not, no trade. If you're unsure of anything I just said, it's because you don't know the terms yet that are sitting in front of you. What market price is, what ATM is, what signal strike is. So let's learn what they are first, and then we can get in trading the two major ways. So let's cover this. A put and a call, indicative price, spot forex, market and profit price, ATM, OTM, ITM, working orders and drawdown. These are all terms that you're going to hear on a regular basis through the process. And you need to know what each one of them are because the knowledge is what's going to protect you. If somebody tells you that you're OTM on the price, you need to know what that is. You need to know what it looks like when you're in about to trade it and you need to know how to avoid it like the plague. You also need to know what the market price is with the profit price so you don't get that confused on what's profit, in the money, out of the money, and all that kind of good stuff. And you need to know what the drawdown is so you don't get covered up in a bunch of losses. First off, let's talk about the common knowledge of what a put and a call is. In the indicator network, when an alert comes up, it's referred to as put and call. These terms were adopted by binary workers networks a long time ago. Uh, put equals the sell side on the indicator. And on Nadex, it's referred to as the bid side, usually the left-hand side. The call is equal to the buy. So you're using a buy signal on the indicator. And on Nadex, it's referred to as the offer side. This is very important. So one is the down and one is the up. Okay, so there's another term in there for you. The indicative price versus the spot forex price. Nadex uses an indicative price structure for its exchange, meaning they take the last 25 spot forex prices that you find on your, uh, your charting system or your MetaTrader 4 system and do an average of the middle 15. I know this prevents a lot of price swinging and whiplashing, but it seems very confusing, right? So basically your price of the indicative is gonna be about two pips higher than the price that you're going to see in MetaTrader 4 or on our charting system. So you always have to know that the price on Nadex for the indicative price, the price of the pair, is always going to be higher than what you see, usually between 1.8 to 2 pips um, in general. The profit price and market price are very important to know what they are. Okay, The market price sets the profit amount and we want to be able to show you what that is here and I'll, and I'll show you here in a second okay a sell side on nadex is always the amount that you can profit okay when you're buying a contract okay so if you're buying it for if you're if you're purchasing the sell side okay for 35 dollars that's what's your risk that's what you're going to be able to make from it if you're purchasing a buy side, then it's what you risk. So if it says $65, that's what you're going to be in there risking. So sells are easy to figure out because it, it tells you automatically what your profit's going to be. And buys, you got to use a little thing called math <laughs> to be able to help you out. ATM, OTM, and ITM. Oh my. We've talked about these before. But in this particular case, these will refer to the price of the indicative compared to the statement and if the statement is considered true or false. Now I know this might seem a little bit confusing, but you'll find out here in future videos exactly how these work. ATM stands for at the money. This is where the indicative is between the two strikes in reference to. So if you have one particular strike that's available and the one above it, if the indicative price is between the two, it's referred to as ATM. If it's not between the two and it's out of the direction that you're looking for okay because you also have to keep in mind if you're trying to go up or down or put or call from this process it could be considered either or 
Okay, so OTM is considered when the indicative is breaking the statement of your liking, right? So if you want it to be false or, or true, it doesn't really matter. If it's breaking that statement for you, then that's considered OTM. But remember, this is the indicative price. ITM is in the money. And this is where the indicative is within the statement of your choosing. And if it were to close, it would be a winning trade for you. Okay? So if it were to expire, it would be a winning trade. OTM, if it were to expire, you'd be a losing trade. And also, an ATM, if it were to expire, would be a winning trade. So ATM and ITMs are your best friend, while OTMs, if they expire, are your worst enemy. Just as a quick overview, an ATM is your bread and butter of this network. And that's what we're going to be using to trade with here um, in this five-minute system. The market price that we want to see for an ATM trade is simple profit margins per contract between $35 to $45. Anything less or more would be fringing on the rules and may lead to unexpected results. The reason why we choose $35 is because that we know that if you lose, because if you're, if you're going to profit $35, you're risking $65. So if you lose this trade, you're going to lose $65. And it only takes one winning trade to get about halfway or more to getting back to in the profit. So you would win two trades. You would be back into profit winning $70 over a $65 loss. You'd be in profit five or six bucks. You see? Or basically breaking even right around an area after fees. If you're getting them closer to the 45 area, one trade could actually get you really, really close to it while the other one puts you in a very nice, comfortable profit. OTMs are no-nos, of course. It's not very reliable and far and few between and creates more risk. Even though it has a higher ratio of profit, it still takes a lot of trades to make this system work. Contracts that show above $50 per contract could be considered OTM trades at that point, okay? Because keep in mind, your market price and indicative price where it's located will be in reference in the very beginning of the trade. If it's an OTM indicative, then that price, that market price might be above the $50 profit margin. Remember, sell side or bid side or offer side, depending on which side you're going on. So if you're if you're getting trades between under $34 for profit margin, between $25 and $34, you're deep into the ITM, the in the money, right? And it is a little bit higher risk to be able to be in there. So if you're trading at $25 per contract, you're risking $75. It would take you three trades just to break even with a four trade to get into profit. I wouldn't want to trade anything under 25 in this five minute system. So keep that in mind. Avoid those trades that don't have the money on that you need. Remember, you just got to wait five more minutes for another opportunity to come around. Working orders. This term means that you have placed an order or a statement and it's being made available, which will go down to your working order section, and that it's working on it. So that's why I, that's how I remember that it's becoming a word that it's a working order. When using the working order, you must be careful. There are some challenges when placing a working order, and in the future lessons, you'll learn how all about these very quickly. The drawdown. Now, again, I say this all the time. It's going to be the name of my first book, Surviving the Drawdown. But the drawdown meaning how far your account will draw down from losses at any one time. For this type of trading in this five minute series, you should never be drawing down more than three losses at any one time. Okay? And if you're averaging about $50, $53 a risk amount to $65, you don't want to be below $159 to $180 at any one particular time. Remember, if you're going to be trading, you've got to use some risk management and make sure that you have your risk management plan in place. Okay, we talked about the terms and some of the jargons and some of the names. Now, in future videos, you'll learn how to put all those together and you'll start referencing the names to the actual locations of the things that we just referred to. If you have to watch this video a few times, I understand, but get in and start doing and you'll start to fill in the blanks. All right, I'm Max, this is Dex. Look forward to seeing you inside and as always, trade well.